a Sean Kruger Sean's video here. So today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite sets, the Ultra Stealth Raider. It's my favorite set and it puts all my other sets basically the same. And so like right now, like all my unbuilt sets because I got Dragon's Forge a few days ago and I get to build it on my birthday. So I'm really excited. And so let's get back. So it comes in Day of the Departed. And first let's take a look at the minifigures. Zane. So uh, it's really cool how he has the shurikens, but it's probably just because of the Day of the Departed look. And he's the only one who actually has a silver one, but with brown printing. And I love how on all of these suits, they actually combined their previous suits and the, and the head, but the head mold is new. Zane, as always from being the Titanium Ninja, he is double-faced. Let's get on to Izor. I know, you're surprised, right? Izor. He doesn't have the snake legs, but I think that's because in the episode, I saw the premiere, but in the episode, and then when they strike them down, Kaimi is strike them down, he... They, they just appear up into a departed realm with legs instead. And Master Chen. Here we have Master Chen. He has this um, jade blade like sort of thing. This jade blade like sort of thing. It's really special. You only get two of them in two sets. This is one of them. But not like, like, like this exact jade blade one, but like two of those special weapon thing the jades. And Chen, he's really without that jade blade weapon, he's really like the Condre Copter Chen. Except when you add so it's like the Condre Copter Chen, except with an extra weapon. And my favorite ninja in the set, Cole. He's not like my favorite ninja, Lloyd is, but this is my favorite minifig. Dick, not a, the J from the night comes, he's in my second. And so, he is double-faced. He has this some um, ghost scar, which I think is really cool, and is really related to the show. In the show, nobody notices it, but we obviously noticed it. He has size, and the other one, he has a happy face. But if you put on the mold there, then it'll be like, um... I'm not too sure about this kind of face. So that's cool. Now we're here the last three minutes. Sensei! So, this beard is really exclusive to Sensei Yang. And the gray Sensei hat, the lantern too. And this, this is the Yin Blade. It looks like an Arrow Blade special weapon, except it's, uh, it's called the Yin Blade. Which on Day of the and switch on the eclipse kind of thing in Day of the Departed. It allows the uh, Yang to turn human, but he lets Cole turn human instead. Now, J. So, like, you notice this? Like, I put it, like, in reverse uh, kind of thing. So then it looks like um, I kind of did that. And so, it, because I saw in the movie that Kai does it, in the, the movie Kai, for the movie that's coming in September, I did the same thing for Kai. Oh, J is double faced. So he's like, um, I'm not so sure. And the thing's like, cool. No, Kai, back to Kai. So, like I said before, all the other ninja, too, have, like, this combined kind of thing. And Kai's the only one not double-faced of the ninja in this set. And so now, let's get on to the Ultra Stealth Raider. So, we are going to be looking first at the main feature, the detaching. To detach like this. Same thing on the other side. Just look here and I de yeah. detach it. And now for this part, it's a little bit more different. So you see it has two parts. Now you're gonna want to take this bit out. And then you slide it out like that. 
and it breaks mine, but mine does. I added, I added a few extra pieces to this just so it would attach on. And so, when this is on, you when, when it's not on, you could probably just extend it for more of a motor by thing. Okay, now let's get into something really cool. Like, really cool. It's not the weaponry. Not the weaponry. So then if you flip it up, it's like these gold coins kind of thing. Yeah. I'm gonna get out. Get out. I would steal. I'm going to steal the gold. I stole the gold. <laughs> well, that's that. And you know. And now let's get to the weaponry. Let's start with let's start with this motorbike. It's really the main vehicle. It's the main ultra stealth raider vehicle. And so let's start with it. Hold on. Okay, and remember guys, I am not editing this. And so the main so the weapon we on this thing is these blasters. So I just turn it and then it blasts. Blast. Blast. I just did three, so I wouldn't have to hunt for them. Okay. So, that's the weapon for this. This thing, this really doesn't have much weaponry. This is very easy to activate its weaponry. You just push this, and then it extends its weapon wings. This thing can fly, and it looks like it can... It doesn't ski the shield up. Now the bikes. It's basically the same thing, just the uh, just the other side in a different color. So their weaponry is that. And so these ones have like really long tread tires. It's really cool. I, I like using these poles for jousting. It's just so fun. And back to this. It has a little control panel in there. And the fire pieces. Yeah, that's really cool. And at the bottom here, it's a cockpit. But I like using it's like a climbing cockpit kind of thing. But then I like using it like it's a jail or something. Genosaurus. Okay, guys, I did not make it funny. And this is the only set, the only set to feature Chen's chair. So this is the Genosaurus. And it has like chainsaw kind of wing, chainsaw arms, chainsaw tail, like a little like thing. And then, so. You can see it has the same weaponry as the bike, except it goes sideways instead. So if it goes, so I'll just show you there. So I just push it. It's working like that. And so that was the Ultra Stealth Raider, but a Shanks video.